Okay, today, this is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Today we're going to be talking about some Android phones here. If you have an Android phone that is rooted or not rooted, you will be able to um, remove all data, all user data and all data from the phone. Here, I'm going to blow the text up so you can read it a little bit better. So if you are erasing everything off your phone for whatever reason, either going to give it to a friend to use or you upgrade to a new phone and you're going to recycle this phone I recommend going through and removing all of your user data or throwing it in the garbage remove all your user data you don't want anybody to get your information off your phone because you, they can once they get uh, their your phone in their hand they can take your data and do whatever they like and, put, and of course you have your passwords on there from your email, from Facebook, from Twitter, from Redbox, from every, I mean, everything you got on there. Alright, so, if you're rooted or not rooted on your Android phone, every Android phone is going to be a little bit different. But the basics are, once you once you boot into recovery mode, you're going to want to look up how to get into recovery mode from your phone, like if you have the... LG Optimus S, just go to Google, type in LG Optimus S, um, how, to, how to boot into recovery mode, and they'll show you steps how to get into there. So once you get into there, come back to my video and check out how you will remove all of your user data. Okay, so once you get into recovery mode, then there's going to be a menu pops up. You're going to have to use, most likely you're going to use the volume up and down arrows. And you want to go down and select wipe data slash factory reset. Which is going to wipe all of your data and then it's going to re and it's going to do a factory reset. So it will be like you just got the phone from the company provider. Once you click on, oh and then once you select that, most likely it's the home button. Sometimes it's the menu button to select it. Then a menu will pop up and you scroll and you hit the down volume down and up arrows to select a yes. Because you just like a whole bunch of no's, then there's a yes and then a whole bunch of no's afterwards. So you want to go down to the yes, select that, hit the home or the menu button depending on your phone. Um, it'll go through, it'll scroll through a little bit of code on the bottom of your screen. It'll pop back up to the um, recovery mode screen, the home recovery mode screen. Then you want to select the restart phone by hitting once you are highlighted over it. Then you're going to click the home or menu button to select it, and then your phone will restart. May take it will take a little bit, take a little longer for your phone to reboot, but it will because it's erasing all of your data. The phone will boot back up and all of your data will be removed and it'll be just like a brand new phone. This is good if your phone keeps freezing on you or if you installed an app and it doesn't seem to be doing the right thing for you or if you wait too many apps and you decide you just want to clean house and start over like on a Windows computer this is the way to do it this is the best way to do it because it clears everything out it would take out all spyware and everything like that as well and remember to save all of your settings or and write down all of your apps on a piece of paper before proceeding with this because everything will be removed so once it boots up everything will be back to factory reset and you will be good to go to either sell your phone throw it away give it to a sibling or activate it on with a new company and be all set and it doesn't matter if your phone is rooted or not rooted um, when you buy your phone from the cellular company it's not rooted um, if you don't know what rooted is you can go ahead and google that as well um, in order to get a rooted phone you're gonna have to do it yourself your carrier provider will not root your phone for you um, but as a google phone um, a lot of people recommend rooting your android phone because it gives you more access to the files on your device but that is up to you you make your own choices because by doing that you could brick your phone which means freeze your phone and it's dead your phone is no good anymore and there's no and it voids your warranty I'm not responsible if you break your phone okay so that is it 
for removing your data off of your Android phone. Have a great day. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Peace.